Let's get back to the breaking news we've been following all morning. The passing of Sheldon Adelson, the, one of the biggest uh, players in Las Vegas gaming, dying this morning at the age of 87 from the Sands Corporation. We're joined live this morning by uh, someone we talk to a lot about gaming in Las Vegas, UNLV professor David Schwartz, joining us by phone this morning for some perspective on the impact of uh, Mr. Adelson and the Sands Corporation here in Las Vegas. Uh, David, it's good to talk to you again this morning. Thanks for having me. Joining us by phone. Uh, so just, let's just talk broadly about the impact of Sheldon when he took over the Sands uh, Corporation back in 1988. What his company, what he is, uh, his impact here in Las Vegas? Well, at the time, the Sands was one of the more respectable, one of the older casinos. When he tore it down to build the Venetian, he really helped to set that model of the casino as a place not just for leisure travelers and gamblers, but also for business travelers. And really, he was responsible, responsible for the boom in business travelers that we saw in Las Vegas right up until the pandemic. Because we think of, uh, of Kikorian, uh, Wynn, uh, obviously uh, the major players back at that time in Las Vegas, a very transformative time. What kind of a, of a legacy is left by uh, Sheldon Adelson and his time with Sands and his time in Las Vegas, do you think? Well, he really did show better than anybody that conventions and business travel could be a viable business strategy for casinos. You know, before that, before the Venetian, a lot of casino owners looked down on it and said, well, it's okay, it fills the rooms, but they don't gamble. And Mr. Adelson showed that even if people aren't gambling, they can spend a lot of money in Las Vegas, and I think that really was ahead of its time. He was obviously a successful business and m businessman, but not without his, uh, I guess, critics, one would say. Uh, he wasn't the biggest fan of the unions in town. Uh, what, what impact did he have on that aspect of Las Vegas life, maybe beyond business, but just on a, on a, on a relationship level and a, and a more personal level? Yeah, you know, he was somebody who had his beliefs and put his money where his mouth is, and I think even his harshest critics would have to respect that. And when times were tough during the pandemic, he did step up and did help to support his employees. So I think he definitely leaves, definitely leaves behind a legacy of somebody who certainly had some opinions that not everybody agreed with, but did what he thought was right. No doubt about that. Uh, Professor Schwartz, hopefully we can talk a little bit later. We're under a bit of a time crunch, but thank you for joining us on short notice this morning to talk about this news. We appreciate it very much. Take care of yourself.